Don't tell me, don't tell me, tell your partners. Here we are at Pi Bank CE Primary School, where we can see some of the ways in which TA pupil interactions have been enhanced. Just hold on a second. Just hold on a second, because we have only got 10 seconds, so we're going to stop now. But next time, we just need to structure that talk a bit better, because you were just talking to no one. <laughs> so we'll, we'll work on that next time. What we established very quickly is all teaching assistants come to professional development with teachers. So there's all staff meetings involve all staff because it was that recognition everybody makes the change. So immediately within those meetings, they're developmental meetings, so there's a lot of dialogue about learning. And that was really, really key because it was dedicating time within their working hours to have those longer in-depth discussions for that. We made it easier through, we formed inquiry teams within those. So each teacher and their TA joined an inquiry team and inquired into practice, one of those being an example being questioning. And the, the teacher and TA together testing out different ways of working in the classroom. So we were up in the amount of opportunity for dialogue um, and that felt much, very quickly, that impacted on culture and mindset because it was about everybody being able to bring about change rather than individual actions that people might do. There was a culture of learning together and that was really essential to this. Into the affluent hotel area. Cool. Then we're going up here. Okay, this is what, what, what do we say we're going to do? How would you say that teaching assistants at the school, how are they encouraged to facilitate really good pupil talk in lessons? Um, I think first of all as a school we've got a, a whole school approach to pupil talk and to teacher pupil dialogue. Um, shared vocabulary is really important so ensuring that um, the vocabulary that I'm using in the main part of the lesson is what the teaching assistant uses too. So we have vocabulary cards um, out in the lesson which means that the teaching assistants are using the same, we've got the shared language of learning that we're using um, and that, that really helps facilitate that. Um, giving them the opportunity to work with pupils one-on-one -on -one or in groups or in whole class contexts. It's not um, a role that's defined, you know, in a particular in a particular way. It can be groups or individuals. So would you say there's a sense of fluidity over how a teacher and TA will work together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a flexible kind of role. I mean, sometimes um, teaching assistant will be doing an intervention, which is obviously very specific, very well structured. Um, intervention whereas during the course of the lesson sometimes teaching assistant might do some modelling or might do some of the teaching to the whole class or to a larger part of the class and that just works really well because then we're both um, we're using both sets of expertise and we're able to let children see that we're both really good models of language and both um, ex have the same high expectations of especially of their language. I'm going to leave you because I know you're wait looking at me waiting for me to give you some answers all right so I'll come back in two minutes okay. Enhancing the quality of TA pupil interactions increases the amount of learning and the quality of thinking in the classroom. This is where we start to see the impact of TAs really taking off. With that said, change is an ongoing process. It won't happen overnight. How can you enable teachers and TAs to refine and improve their practice?